And good evening, a fire at a vacant property breaking out in East Bakersfield this morning, turning into tragedy today, claiming the life of a young child. 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson joins us now live from the scene with a breakdown of what happened. Brandon. That's right, guys. Kern, uh, Kern County Fire is saying that that child, four to five years old, that was lost this morning. I'm going to step out of the way so we can show you the aftermath of this fire. Again, this fire taking place early this morning, just after 12, and all of this happening. Again, Code Compliance saying that there was they had come out to this area before for transients living in this area, but not much could be done in the case to save this young child's life. A blaze in East Bakersfield. The other one, the four-year-old, still in there, according to the mom. Breaking out early Wednesday morning. We're going to be in rescue mode. The Kern County Fire Department says that they were sent to a fire near the intersection of Sterling and Niles at just after 1240 in the morning. When they arrived, they found that a building wasn't on fire, but instead a handmade structure that appears to have been built against a vacant store. It'll be a little structure behind the building, not inside the building, but somewhere like a little garage, makeshift garage in the back of the building. Firefighters found two kids and an adult with burns on their bodies. They were taken to the hospital, but a third child was still inside. Fire crews unable to reach that child in time. And notify the coroner we have one confirmed deceased. Maria Royal works nearby. She says that she saw the family around, but didn't know that the children were sleeping there. It's so sad that an innocent life was lost in that manner. She says the shelter was built with blankets and plastic. There was also damage done to a nearby home. She says nothing nearly as damaging as the loss of a child. Nothing could replace it. Now, guys, Kern County Code Compliance says that they've been out to this spot multiple times for transients living in this, in this area, but they haven't been out here since last April. They said that it's very important to report these kinds of things. We'll have more on that coming up at 6. For now, in East Bakersfield, Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News.